What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? We are back with Persona 5 Tactica. So, uh, we got pulled into the metaverse. Um, I'm trying to think here. The crew got pulled into the metaverse. We got face, we were facing off against uh, a ruler or whatever the hell her. She, she's the ruler of a kingdom or whatever. It's whatever the new metaverse gimmick in this game is. Um, I'm not 100% sure if we're going to see like multiple rulers through multiple kingdoms or if we've only seen just this one bit. I don't know how long this game is or what all is going to take place. Uh, right now, we only have access to the main character and Morgana. Well, and uh, our, our new friend here who is a inhabitant of this world and their secret hideout is here in LeBlanc. Uh, the ruler has also... Um, charmed or uh, has, has essentially kidnapped and brainwashed our friends and we're gonna have to go find them so that's pretty much what happened let's get going oh yeah by the way we're also really cute chibis and I'm very uh, I'm very okay with that so you and your friends are from another world I have to admit that's rather hard to grasp this world's the only one I've ever known on top of that, you're also telling me you're thieves who steal hearts. And you just stumbled into this world? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Believe me, we're in the same boat here. All of a sudden, we were surrounded by Marie's forces, and you had to rescue us. We really have no idea what's going on. Well, we can try to hash it out later. Uh, Morgana and you. I suppose it's my turn to answer questions. Feel free to ask away. Yeah, who exactly is Marie? She's a ruthless tyrant who fancies herself the ruler of these parts. This used to be a peaceful place, free of any sort of conflict. Look, I'm just gonna say it. If she's living in the castle and has an army and everything that's subjugating all of you, yeah, she kinda is the ruler. You can like it or not, but she is. Then, Marie appeared, and everything changed. Everything changed when the Fire Nation the player, attacked. The Boom. The city and all its citizens were now her property. With her invincible soldiers leading the way, she quickly seized full control. Invincible soldiers? You mean, those guys who attacked us? Yes. We've taken to calling them legionnaires. Legionnaires, hostile monstrosities found only within kingdoms. And they are believed to be born uh, from the minds of twisted individuals attacking whoever their designated ruler demands. See, and because they keep saying, because she's speaking just from Marie, but it's the leader of kingdoms, plural, rulers, plural. So I have a feeling sure this game is going to have multiple rulers. Strong, but all we can do is knock them out. They're always back on their feet all too soon. No matter the tactics we try, they're seemingly invincible. Maybe they're shadows of some kind. Only personas can put down a shadow. No wonder you didn't stand a chance. Shadows? Personas? Whatever those may be, I knew you had solid intel on the enemy. Anyway, after Marie showed up and declared that this was her king, now she brainwashes anyone she can find, then uses them up until they're nothing. Anything else you'd like to ask? Yeah, she said this was the Rebel Corps' hideout, didn't she? Marie is strong enough that it'll take everyone in the city to stop her. That's why I founded the Rebel Corps. I've served as leader ever since. As the one who inspired the citizens here to fight, it's my job to see that Marie no longer enslaves them. Well, you certainly have a good reason to be considered a criminal, huh? Pretty impressive, Arena. Huh. Well, our current win record certainly isn't impressive. There are so few of us left now. We're basically an army in name only. Uh, when your enemies get right back up, there's only so much you can do. Right. The best we can do now is lay low here and look for gaps in their defense. So, was there anything else? Why? You two were in trouble, so I had to help. Even if it meant getting caught? Those guys already had it out for you. True. And I admit I was already considering recruiting you to our cause. I'd never seen anyone go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marie's forces before. 
Not that well, anyway. We'll certainly take the compliment. But you were the real star back there. Thanks again, Arena. It was a pretty big gamble on my part, but I'm definitely glad it paid off. So, anything else? So, I understand that Marie is doing whatever she pleases in this world. But do you know if she has a goal? If she's going through the effort of enslaving everyone, it has to be for some reason. <sighs> the perfect wedding. The perfect wedding? She wants to get married? Yeah, didn't you see the whole just married thing on her car? Preparing her wedding. It's become her single obsession by this point. It always needs to be more, no matter the pain it may cost. Can't say I expected that. Her own legionnaires, the citizens she captured, even your own friends are all forced to prepare her wedding. She was even able to command them to build her that tank with the premature message on the grill. Marie sounds like a real threat. She's self-centered enough to sacrifice everyone around her for her own desires. And if she's as powerful as she seems, then everyone's in real trouble. Oh, we need to act fast. Well, now that we've got a grasp on things, let's figure out our next course of action. Um, yeah, frankly, let's save our buddies. Yeah, that's our top priority. But given how strong their brainwashing is, this isn't gonna be easy. About that, I have a suggestion. You two want to free your friends from Marie and escape this metaverse. And I want to take Marie down so nobody has to live under a tyrant anymore. With that in mind, I think we should join forces. Would you be willing to join the Rebel Corps if I were to help you on your rescue mission? I see. In other words, you want to make a deal, right? How about it? Not a bad offer. Yeah. There's still way too much we don't know to do this on our own. Not only do we need to rescue our friends, but we need to figure out how to get back home, too. I'd say the more of us, the better. And she seems pretty capable, too. We talked it over, and it's unanimous. You've got a deal. We talked it over. You talked. I just stood here silently. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. First things first. I officially deem you two members of the Rebel Corps. So... With that said, welcome to the resistance, comrades. Viva la resistance. And leader of the Joker, second year, uh, Shujin, thieves, yada, yada, yada. You know, you, you'd think that they would put these in order that they're going to, like, pop up. Like, pop one, two, boom, 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 boom. You know, like, pop as we meet the characters. Instead, they're all spread out. That's just weird, in my opinion. Using one's real name is also considered uncool. Yeah, I guess we'll just go with that for now. Okay, guys, give me a quick second. Sorry about that, my dudes. My uh, my mom's a kindergarten teacher. She's off to work and taking one of our dogs with her today. So I had to keep a hold on the spaz while she put him in the harness, put him in the car seat, and everything is a whole is a whole ordeal. I know it's like two in the afternoon as you're watching this, but really I'm recording this at like six seven in the morning. 
Alright, now to the safe place in the world, various ways, prepare for battle, yada yada yada. And you can save progress, auto save enabled. Okay, so we can mess with our party. Okay, so they all have different movements. Morgana's got one extra movement, makes sense with him being a cat. Uh, health, SP, and everything. Why does the character who can swap around his personas and everything have the least SP? Like, I've, I I always think that Joker needs the most. Uh, strengthen units and the skill tree. Growth points are acquired. You earn GP when your phantom level increases or sometimes when you engage in conversations. If a unit has enough GP to acquire a new skill. Okay, so then they all, their skill points are all um, found separately. Okay. So, the Great Thief. And deals light damage in a medium area or a small area. Acquire Rakukaja. Slightly increases damage of his IHA skills. Slightly restores SP when user is in cover. That is what I am taking. Mona, the sword of the incognito. Okay. Is Magaru, which gives him a light area, which is what I want with him. An arena. As far as arena goes, let's give her some a uh, some range to hit in an area as well. That'll work. As far as equipment, you can only change their pistols. Uh, we don't have to worry about their... Oh, interesting. So they have different kinds of shot types, too. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. Again, it, it kind of, it, it's a way of bringing the, the game mechanics into this, or the base mechanics into this game. Hey, what's with him? Hey, Jen! Who's this unfamiliar furball? Aurier must have sent you. Very well, then. Have at you! I love their eyes. <laughs> no need to have at anyone. You can stand down. These are our new comrades. I don't even want to get into it. Just fill him in on our situation later, Arena. He, he looks like, um, uh, 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 um... A character from Mario, Mario, Mario Odyssey. There we go. You were out on recon, right? Find anything? Yeah. Correct, Captain. Yeah. It's that. It's the hat with eyes thing. Multiple unknown individuals are being held in the prison near Mario's castle. I'm not surprised that Mario sees you and your compatriots as a threat. Despite being brainwashed, her more powerful puppets usually get locked up and not in use. We won't know for certain whether or not these are your friends unless we see for ourselves. Well, then let's go. Right. Time for me to start upholding my end of the deal. If we really did find your friends, they could give our forces a solid boost when we spring them. All right. We'll head out once you've rested up. I'll draw up a plan of attack. It won't take very long. Man, I didn't expect us to get beat as badly as we did. not working like usual really held us back there. Maybe the metaverse just works differently here? Well, there's no use thinking about it now. Plus, we've got Arena helping us out with that now. Hopefully she comes up with a strategy that... Hey, was that? A blue butterfly floated past us and faded away. Where it vanished, there's a now familiar looking door. The blue door? Don't tell me. The Wait, velvet room. Is it different somehow. Let's go through it. 
she might be able to tell us what's going on. At the very least, she'll have our backs. God, I love those things. Look how cute they are. I love I love the chibi style. Whoa. It looks totally different in here the now. Velvet armory. Machines all over the place. Okay. What happened? It's been a while. <laughs> well, a very short while, I suppose. Welcome to the velvet room. This realm exists between dream and reality, between mind and matter. It appears you've suffered quite the ordeal. Okay, this is super weird having somebody other than the protagonist in the Velvet Room, but I guess at the same time, Morgana is a... Uh, he's a shadow, kind of. Um... Yeah, I guess it would work that he'd be here, but still. Miss Lavenza. Hey, don't tell me you forgot everything she's oh, done. Oh damn it! I keep thinking the white one is the one I'm selecting. I owe you such a great debt. It would trouble me greatly were you not speaking in jest. It appears this place has been affected by the same guidance of fate as that which has claimed yourselves, and this guiding hand must be okay Lavenz oh it's I my question was well how come this how come they're so out of order there's so many spaces it's because it's alphabetical order okay that kind of makes sense uh a resident of the velvet room takes form of a young girl she refers to Akira as trickster putting her unequivocal trust in him as her benefactor while assisting and watching over his exploits diligent in her duties does tend to make the occasional head-scratching remark. Well, Igor better be here, or else I'm going to be very sad. Wielded by a being with significant power. However, I do not know which being is responsible, nor their intentions. All I can say for certain is that our current situation deviates greatly from the natural course of events. I admit that my carelessness led to being caught in this aberration and pulled from my master's side. Ah, okay. We got you too, Miss Lavenza? Whoever this being may be, they are also responsible for the chaotic state of this room. It's as if some force of negation has infected this place. Okay, so I'm going to guess that we're not going to pick up multiple personas in this one. We're just using our Sen, but it's saying the Velvet Armory. So I'm guessing we're going to fuse weapons or this is where we're going to get equipment to bring out into the missions. This force has unfortunately affected you all as well, deepening the issue you currently face. I see. So that's why we couldn't summon our personas like usual. This woman named Marie called the place a kingdom or something. Whatever it is, it sure is weird. Then I will henceforth refer to that realm as a kingdom. This kingdom is a world disparate. Yeah, palace, and the basic persona stuff, mementos. From Mementos and the other palaces. Unfortunately, returning will be no easy feat. We would each be stuck here for eternity were we to simply wait. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Right. We've never given up before, and we're not starting now. We're gonna rescue the others and get us all the hell out of here. <laughs> I expected as much from you. This realm sealed off from all other realities. There is still much to learn. However, so long as you have the will to overcome this ordeal, I will spare no effort to aid you. I am the one who rules over power. To draw out the potential lying dormant within you, 
I shall reprise my role for you in this place. As I had previously explained, this room has suffered from a grave disturbance. Apologies, but would you mind taking your leave? I vow to tidy up the place before your next return. I like her little her little blacksmith's apron. Indeed. I wholly believe that you can do this, Trickster. Morgana, I leave him in your care. And I'll be sure not to let you down, Miss Lavenza. By the way, that outfit. Is that also the mysterious being's fault? No. I merely thought, under the circumstance, I could perhaps dress more fittingly to theme. That was about... Oh my god. I love it. Does it suit me? Yeah! Uh, looking cool! That <laughs> pleases me to hear that. I love her. I love her. Well then, please visit me anytime you need, through the door in the hideout. We shall meet again <clears throat> I, I love the chibi style. I just, I, it's so fun. It's so cute. We still need to settle the issue about our weapons. Yeah. It'll only get more difficult using what we have now. What to do? Ah, everyone, I bring some news. A short while ago, a person wearing a strange mask appeared and asked uh, for this to be delivered to you promptly. Someone in a mask wants to give us something. Hmm? What? These are weapons. Uh, no came with it. I believe it's addressed to all of you. Let me see that. It says, Dear all, I have a solution regarding your current situation. I believe you are wondering how you may acquire additional weapons. However, the type of weapons you need are special, ones that operate based on the cognitive nature of your abilities. It is nearly impossible to get your hands on such weapons in the metaverse. Yeah, they sure know an awful lot about us. Mm. It says L there, so it could have been Lavenzo. Uh, that is, for some reason, hard to say. Munehisa Iwai, the, the guy who ran the ran the shop. That said, how did these weapons get here? However, if they do not exist, then all you must do is build them from scratch. For this, I have a proposition. Allow me to make and prepare your weapons for you. I believe you have something called online shopping in the in your real world. Following a similar system, you can place an order with me and I shall deliver your goods directly to you. I will be adding new products in due time, so please make sure uh, make use of the service. Okay, that's all. Which means... No sign off, huh? How mysterious. The last part wasn't me, by the way. They actually ended it. Okay, that's all. But more imp more mysteriously, this person seems to understand your situation pretty well. Do you know who it might be? Oh my gosh, L. I have an idea. Oh, oh wait, there's more to the letter. P.S. Please note that I will require payment. That is how deals work, do they not? And if you refuse... I will unleash the flames of the apocalypse and they will consume you whole, leaving no ashes in their wake. <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty brutal. Now I'm even more curious who this person is. Yes. So in short, you can buy weapons from them as long as you pay, right? Well, if that's the case, I'll show you where my secret stash is. It's meant to be the Royal Corps' war fund. But we are in a partnership, after all. You have my things. We really owe you one. Uh, allow us to return the favor with our future success. Uh, I wonder why Lady Love... Uh, I mean, I wonder why this unknown sender would go about this in such a... Oh, okay, so I guess it is Lavenza who's sending this. I, I was thinking somebody totally different. I was thinking it was entirely... Because of the L... Um, Although I guess if this is based off of Persona 5 and not Persona 5 Royal, Akechi dies. So Akechi died in 
Persona 5. Yeah, it couldn't be him. The reason I thought it was maybe a catchy was because his his true persona was Loki. So L, Loki, and the whole thing about the flames or whatever. Nah, but okay. So I guess I was right when I originally thought it was Lavenza. Well, no point in guessing. More importantly, it's great news for us. Yeah. Let's be sure to use the service whenever we want to procure weapons. I'll take care in ordering the goods then. Come and talk to me when you need anything. Range weapons available at the shop. The range of stock will improve. Yada, yada, yada. Make sure you're well prepared. Everything good? Okay, so it's the same thing, just with seven more damage. I'll buy that and equip. Morgana slingshot. You have a good eye. Thanks for your purchase. And I can't sell. Interesting. Like? And I can't buy either gun for her because I don't have the money. Best of luck out there. In addition to your overall Phantom Thieves level, units can be improved through the skill tree and their equipment. The Phantom Thieves level is shared by everyone and increases their HP, SP, and melee attack. As it grows, you can always raise it by replaying missions via the replay option. In the prep menu, you can view various uh, you can view and equip various skills. In the equip menu, you can choose ranged weapons, yada, yada, yada. This is uh, the next battle. Okay. Uh, once you start a battle, you will not be able to return to the hideout, so always prepare well before moving out. Okie dokie. Okay. So I, I wasn't sure, like, do I have to actually, like, equip the skill that I want? So that's a passive. Hmm. Ah, okay. So I can gain and remove it. Well, where do I equip my skills then? Let's see, audio, I want to turn off captions. And I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. When we were in the Velvet Room, it was really kind of hard to hear some of the dialogue because the music was so loud. I love the Velvet Room music. That was a little loud. Okay, so I'm going to guess these are kind of like the, um, the skits or whatever in the Tales games. So about these people in the Rebel Corps, you notice that them and Morgana have the same eyes. Different colors, but the same, like, design. I know what you're thinking. What are these people really, right? Are they really shadows? Normally, we'd be able to infer that based on their appearance and behavior, but it's not working like that here for some reason. Uh, there could, uh, this could be related to the mysterious effect that Miss Lavenza told us about. Mm. What we do know is that they're not uh, made of the same stuff as you humans are. I wonder if everyone who lives here really looks like this. But then, why does Arena look like a normal person? So many questions we don't have answers to yet. Um, excuse me. Yeah, what is it? Would you care for another cup of coffee while we wait for the captain? I have my uh, yeah, sounds good, thanks. At least they seem like they're not bad guys here. Let's put a pin in the questions and just go with the flow for All now. 
Yeah, we should take up their offer and get some rest before the next operation. Although, could I have a saucer of warm milk instead? The fresher the better, please. Oh, and don't forget to cool it down to room temperature first. Take a look at this map. I see. The whole city's surrounded by the castle's outer walls, huh? Yes, the hideout's marked here. We're in part of the city that's a fair distance from the castle. And here is the prison where they're holding your friends. How do you plan for us to get there? Well, we certainly can't just travel the streets. Security is tighter than ever now. They've been after me for quite a while, but now they're looking for you two as well. So, I think the safest course of action is to make our way there along the top of the castle's outer walls. Yep, sounds good. Yeah. We're definitely less likely to get surrounded that way. But this is so reckless! Just imagine what would happen were you to fall! Don't you worry about that. We're used to this sort of stunt. We don't call ourselves phantom thieves for nothing, right? Oh, good. Sounds like this strategy will play to your strengths. Hopefully we can find our friends and get them out of there before it's too late. Everyone, hang on just a bit longer. Well, have you found those rats for me? Not yet, ma'am. But we have every last man hunting them now. I see. Then, every last man is absolutely pathetic! I want those three at my feet now! Yes, madam! I swear, how can they all be so useless? Well, I mean, they're all essentially a collection of hats. Falling into place, the vermin start crawling in through the walls. All I need is the perfect wedding, and everything I've ever wanted will finally be within my grasp. Until that moment comes, anyone in my way is sure to regret it. Oh, playthings! I think I'm in the mood now to try out my new little toys. I like how Foxes is all on the forehead. Oh, look how cute Futaba is! You are to Aww. find him and bring him to me. I want him alive. Got it? Your wish is our command, great lady Marie. Soon, I'll have that arrogant brat within my grip once more. And this time, I'll crush him right in front of his friends! <laughs> God damn it, they're all just so cute in their little chibiness. Alright. Oh. Looks like why did we just stop voice acting now? It's so it's just an odd decision. Yeah, it looks like we made it all the way to the top. And we haven't uh, and we haven't been spotted yet. I hope we can keep this up. Although I may have spoken too soon. We've got lookouts. What now, Joker? Let's get him. Ah. Yeah, sounds like we're on the same page. I'm gonna get their attention. Everyone ready? Ready when you are. You know, I'm curious. Can we use the, uh... Oh, awards. Each stage has a set of conditions. Okay. Stars are used to represent different award conditions. Yellow star, gray star, and so with an X, not possible. You can also confirm awards in the analysis, increase experience of money. Okie dokie. I can choose my squad. Okay. Sub-Persona skills, okay. 
Zoro the Masked Bandit, and Arena the Rebel. She doesn't have a persona. Okay. So, nothing we can really do there. Nothing, uh, no other kind of like setup or anything. We'll just uh, start, I guess. Any unit that ends their turn in a neon yellow square will uh, recover a moderate amount of HP. Okay, so it's a heal square, essentially. What to do here? But don't let your guard down. And the pause menu. Oh, uh, I forgot to check what the rewards were. <laughs> Oops. God, this is so weird being in a being in this kind of game, but not being able to move freely. Fire! Joker shot. Let's do this. Okay, for some reason the others don't want to make any actions. Get ready. Here I go. That's a hit. You're really right. doing it, Arena. She's got a hell of a push. It's over. Hey, Joker. Enemy hit. Good job. Nice, Joker. Enemy hit. Let's do this. Knock them all over there. It's over. Take that yes. enemy. Nice. Hit him like that and get another one more. Persona. They're all in my range. Hit them both while they're down. More enemies incoming. Be careful. What? Whoa, look how big that one is. Careful. That's a very powerful legionnaire. They won't go down easily. We'll have to strike back whenever you, uh, it will strike back whenever you attack. So what you're saying is, if you're reckless and attack when you're too close, you'll get a nasty counterattack. Yes, though they are uh, vulnerable after their counterattack. That's the time to hit them. Okay, first time these enemies are attacked, they will perform a counter instead of being downed. However, they are wholly defenseless after countering. Uh, should you attack them again? Okay. Now then. Fire! Joker shot hit! Get ready. And he's not in range to actually counter me. Hit him hard! Another hit! Excellent marksmanship by me! Weird only seeing how... Yeah, it's weird how short their... Their spells are. How, like, how, um... Short of a range they have. Behold the proof of my determination! Show me what you've got! This will wipe you away! Operation Hack and Slash complete. That that really the name of our operation? I mean, I'm good with it. It's cool. Good. That should do it here. I've got to know. Just what the hell are those things? Well, your powers aren't working like usual either, are they? Yeah, something's off. I didn't know what was going on either. 
That means we must have reached a really strange place. It seems you two are still feeling held back. I must say, you're certainly holding your own regardless. That persona of yours. How'd you get that, if you don't mind my asking? Yeah, <laughs> you just shout it out. Uh, everyone has Souls one. Are the power of the heart made manifest. You should be able to summon one too, if you try. Uh, really? Would you mind if I tried now? Hmm. Persona! What? Shut up, or they'll hear us! Who goes there? Let's pounce on them quick before they catch us. See, I was, I was hoping... I don't know how I feel about this. Because it just seems like it's going to be just... Combat. Little, little dialogue. Combat, little dialogue. Like, I feel like there should be something in between. Like, maybe, like, strategizing targets to take down to help you in your combat against the the uh, the ruler or whatever. This music's awesome, by the way. But again, it's Persona. Of course it is. Um, I don't hate how they're doing it. It's just I feel like there is a better system that could be done. But that's just me. Okay, no one in the party get KO'd. Clear in six turns. Okie dokie. Beat all the enemies. Three enemies ahead. Looks promising. We've gotten into good sync with Arena, so I think it's time to try a new move. New move? Yeah, a special one I've been saving just for the right time. Just do exactly as I say, got it? First up, Joker, shoot the enemy that's in the middle, but knock it down. Alright. It's over! You want to shock it! With the guns, with the... The flared ends, it just... God, it, I love how cartoony it is, it's so dumb. Sound good? Okay, next uh, we have to surround the down enemy. I'll stand here. Last is Arena. Once you're in position, we'll be ready. All right. All right, we're in a great position. Arena, follow our lead, will ya? Gotcha. So this is going to be our all out attack. Oh, cool. So it, it creates a little line. If anybody has ever played the game, um, 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 Resonance of. Fate. This burning triangle thing looks really similar to that. It's showtime. Also, if you've ever played Resonance of Fate, actually, another Atlas game now that I think about it. It's a Amazing. really weird game that I wish was better than it is. Well done. You weren't too shabby yourself. Three people surrounding an enemy, then attack, talk about a powerful target. Might be even more effective if we can surround more enemies. <laughs> Nobody stopped the Phantom Thieves, so do at least one of them have to be downed in the area? Uh, one has to be in one more. Okay, that makes sense. Melee and range attack speeds. If any of the units are inflicted with an ailment, they can't perform it. Okay. It's a, it's a cute system. And seeing that I get heals and recharges on my heals and recharges on my um oh jeez what was I about to say heals and recharges on my oh cool so okay so I can see a uh, a circle of my different skills of the ranges. Okay, that's nice. Here I go. Take it down. No. I told I had something I wanted to say and I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. Music is so fucking good. This 
brilliant, Arena. You'll be safe Yeah, Sharning Partisan won't really do much for me. Oh, right. I was saying, yeah, seeing that it seems like I got all my uh, HP and SP back at the end of... Um, at the end of everything, I might as well... I might as well just go ham. I don't know why I moved him back like I had to do that. And that moved me the spot forward, so I also got to be in cover while I did that. That's nice. Get ready. What to do here? On point is over, there. Joker. Nice Let's cover. Might as well Let's pop that shot, and Morgana really can't do much and be safe. See what they're gonna do now. It's fine, it's resisted. Fine, it's resisted. It's so weird that even though you get a flank like that, they still get the defense cover. I mean, it still works, I get it. It's just, it's still very odd to me. Doing good, Joker. Leave it to me. Show me what you've got. And she gets a one more. That's a hit. Really doing it, Arena. Oh, 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 Mission complete. Just as expected. Nice going, Joker. Takes care of that. Huh? There's something on the ground here. Never seen anything like that. I wonder what one of the. Uh, wonder if any, one of the enemies dropped it. I suppose we can take it for now. Maybe Miss Lavenza knows something about it. Well, what you expect? I really like this combat system. Look, it, just like Strikers, I'd much rather play regular Persona, which I'm very excited for Persona for the the Persona 3 remake that's coming out. I think next February. I think it's already on the PlayStation Store when I was picking up this game. But I do got to say, it is it is a cute system. It's, it is very Final Fantasy Tactics-esque. It's, it's, you know, taking a system that we all know, but putting it into this style. And it, it, it does a very good job of it. And again, maybe that's just because I love Persona so much. Maybe I'm a little biased, but... Looks like it. Oh, that was too careless of me. Thank you for jumping in like that. Don't sweat it. We know what it's like when things go south on you. Okay, we're all ready to crash this prison. 